Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to episode 11 of the Master League. Now, this is the finale, this is the grand final. We're undefeated as of this this moment right here. And if everything goes well, we'll remain undefeated and we'll become the champions. Now, we're taking on the GOATs, and uh, we have played them before. We ended up beating them 18 0, and then also in the final series, we beat them 6 0. And that they finished second in both. Uh, if, um, sorry, they finished second in uh, the finals. I forget where they came in the normal rounds, but obviously in the top four. Now, in terms of uh, the intro and that sort of stuff, obviously uh, I've got a created team, so there's going to be no sort of NRL markings or anything like that. No uh, Telstra Big Pond who keep flagging me. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to let you know them run out and be able to have a full sort of shot at the cutscene. And uh, yeah, here it is. So there you have it. That's that's all the intro, all the national anthems. For some reason, it's not a national game, it's not an NRL game, whatever. Just a, a bit of an all-star sort of a, a fun league that we got going on here. And I wonder how this would be re like. What would be the reception of this if this happened in real life? A bunch of uh, new teams just having a little mini tournament. Now uh, the goat side, obviously a pretty good side. No easy beast. I just want to say you can. Sh I'm showing this little clip here. You can see one of our first possessions. Not the first by any means, but. Uh, one of the first ones, you can show just how much confidence we've got. Like, Ben Hunt catches a bomb and just immediately looks um, to attack right from the get-go. Now, that could be seen as a negative, but for me, with the way we've been playing, it's definitely a positive. Now, we just keep attacking the short side. Some really smart attack here. Cut up past Brett Morris. Did very well not to go over the sideline um, just there. Now, in terms of the team lineup, they've got a really strong team. I've gone over the team so many times. Uh, as Simona ends up scoring right in the corner, up against Bryce and Goodwin. Uh, it's been a, some good matchups between them. In the past, I'm not particularly Simona, but um, our winger, uh, who I believe Brett Morris on that side, Brett Morris up against Goodwin. Goodwin had not had too much success, but being able to sort of contain Morris at times. Um, yeah, Tim Simona, outstanding player on this game, incredible, great pace. Uh, I can't remember if I bumped up his stats or not, because he might have been one of the players who just wasn't very good, but I can't remember, to be honest. Um, but yeah, in, in terms of you go back, you have a look. Right at the very start of the video, it had what our, our ratings were, and we were, were a fair way behind the Goats side. So, you'd have to say Goats, on paper, would have been the favourites, but, you know, we're just doing, we're coming up with the goods. Brett Morris here, a shitty offload away, but Tim Simona with the pickup, and there's a try at 10 nil. Hopefully, we can turn it into 12 nil. Um, the combination of Sauer and Thurston, headgears, you know, like, not really working um, too well this game. It's not really working for them. Um, you know, it... It can easily turn around. It can it can always turn around. Um, but at this stage, with the way we've played the whole the whole um, tournament season, whatever you want to call it, we're just too good at this stage. Unfortunately, Simona, I've given him bigger apps just before, and does some of it. I mean, obviously not ultimately not all of it because he's been so good. You can see there, Ballon, very displeased at that. Um, I'm not sure who exactly is the captain of our side, but he'd have to be. He'd be in the captain's circle, the captain's group sort of thing, if he's not the captain. And it's very disappointing if you can see that try, seeing as it was, you know, not too far before kickoff. You can see the kickoff, we just, uh, sorry, at half time, I should say. I was thinking about the kickoff just then. But yeah, 35 minutes in, like, for them to score a try the way they did, it was quite annoying. Just gave them a little bit of a, a sniff, which I wasn't really hoping for. Um, and then to start it off, well, sorry, to start off, you know, the game again, we go and give away a penalty straight away. And, you know, they actually. Come up with a few good plays here, uh, except for this one. Tim Simona picks off an intercept, uh, sort of stumbles and steps and whatever, but he ends up finding a pass to Brett Morris, and we're going to redeem ourselves here. Well, Tim Simona is really going to redeem himself here. I think it was Thurston who threw the ball there, and I was saying 
they have a chance to sort of turn it around and unfortunately just for unfortunately for them just not happening um, Simona he did he did turn it around um, you know he went from hero to villain to hero once again um, so yeah Corey Norman three from three another one from the sideline I don't know how many he's missed this um, season I'd have to say probably a handful if that um, yeah, so Timo Simona scoring two tries, Brett Morris scoring one, and for them, Lewis Brown obviously got that little intercept. Uh, yeah, so 18-6, pretty happy with that. Moving into the 54th minute, so there was a little bit of play where nothing really happened. The two of us check finds himself with the ball, and a nice little offload, and then he palms one person away here. We've got a little bit of support here. Jack Whiten going to offload it to Ben Hunt. He's going to try and run it around Jamie Seard. Unfortunately, Jamie Seard makes the tackle. Uh, too bad we couldn't just English um, Jamie Seard just then, just give him a huge palm didn't happen but uh, we're going to put up a bomb here Jack White and Sean Fensom is under it and he can't get to it Michael Lennis he's away Michael Lennis is away we've got cover defense here two of us a shack gets him he runs him up in like 20 meters or so so uh, yeah a little bit of um, false hope for the goats there uh, they really should have realized once it was Ennis it wasn't going to happen but although this is rugby glove too and the game where props outrun Jaron Hayne so yeah and Josh Hoffman, some more offloads, really, just attacking the edges, getting the offloads away. Offloads are so damaging on this. Now, Frank Pritchard, what can you say? Every game, every game he's come up with a bell ringer. But James, uh, sorry, Madalino, I should say. I was going to say James Tamu. He's also in our side, but that was Madalino that time. Comes up with a bell ringer just there. So two tries, uh, two tackles in a row. Now, looking to just seal it here. I was calling for the field goal, but it's not going to be needed. Jack White and splits the defense, goes straight for a gap there. Game over, if it wasn't already. It was 79th minute, it was already over, let's be honest. But yeah, Jack White and the icing on the cake there. Lewis Brown, realization has set in. You are not going to be the champion of the Master League. Now, uh, yeah, 24 to 6, Corey Norman slots the conversion. And as you can see there, it is full time. Now, there's going to be no full on celebrations or anything because it's just a competition and a custom. Um, title, but you got to see the title. You can imagine it in your head um, what the celebration would be like. Um, so yeah, this is where this series is going to end, unfortunately, uh, or maybe fortunately for some, um, as I've got win one take one coming back next. But I'll do a video sort of explaining what's going to be happening next time. But yeah, 24 to six, Corey Norman man of the match. You all saw that, and uh, yeah, like I said, series ending. But uh, that's where the video is going to be ending as well. If you can leave a like, it'd be very much appreciated. Uh, leave in the comment section below what you'd like to see from me. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter, at uh, MrLukeMIT, it's my Twitter handle, Facebook page in the description below. Make sure you like and subscribe, and um, I'll see you for my next series, or my next video, whatever it is. Bye guys, hopefully you enjoyed.